<sighs> Back in 1476, it was one of the greatest days in history. A day that would be marked down in our history books for eternity. Young Fred, Fred, give me a name. Jefferson Die rode out on his big horse. Imagine a horse. And he, unbeknownst to him, is that a word? Unbeknownst? Un unbeknownst? Un run now? He was about to revolutionize the fashion industry as a whole. Because before then, 1496 or whatever number I said, there was no color. It was like the Wizard of Oz, everything black and white. Dull, gray, boring. The Great Depression was right around the corner. He revolutionized it by making tie dye. Okay, so today to honor him because it is National Tie-Dye Day, we are going to be making tie-dye. Now you might be thinking to yourself, you've done this before. You did this on a Markiplier Mix a while back. You probably did this on <laughs> I'm out of ideas, okay? I haven't done it on my channel. Go f We've got so many colors here today and we've got so many garments for me to tie-dye. Let's get to it, shall we? Cue the intro. I don't know what the intro is. I watched a brief tutorial video on how to do tie-dye. Do I remember any of the video? No. Am I gonna watch it again? No. Because the human, what is ex the human experience without a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of improv, a little bit of yes and, huh? We don't zip zap zop enough these days. We're gonna start off with some socks. They're white. Everything here is white because they didn't have color back then and the tie-dye was the first time that there was color so what we're gonna do first i've never tie-dyed socks before so we're gonna try something with both of these with this one we're just gonna roll it up like a fat j okay <laughs> so we're gonna put this in like this we're gonna wrap it up a little bit like this it's very basic, very basic. I want you to calm down a little bit, okay? But this one, we're gonna try a little bit of a twirl. We're gonna take it. I don't know if this is doing anything, but we're trying our best. Oh, and we can make little sections. We'll make little sections, isn't that nice? All right, well now we, I think we just kind of get to it. Did you watch the tutorial? I watched it, but that doesn't mean that I pros processed any of the information. Stay I goes on first. After. After. So I should just dump this in the in the small bottle. Tablespoon. Two tablespoons. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of this. A little bit of green, emerald. A little bit of tan, bronze. So you didn't silence your phone before coming on set today. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, and one tablespoon, two tablespoons. I'm going to inject the innards of this, much like basting a turkey, but reverse. Just going to surgically insert the tip. Oh, nice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now this is going to be a basic dye. We're really gonna see it on the inside, not as much on the outside. This one, I'm gonna be a little bit more precise. I'm gonna dye some of the quadrants here. Anybody at, anybody at home been tying, who up tying they dye right now? I think that this color combo is gonna look real nice. Next two colors. We're going to do a little bit of red, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, this is gonna be sick. And then we're gonna do this neon green. Wrap it around there. Should I do all of the colors or just these two? I'm gonna just do these two just for now. Oh, baby, this looks like Shrek's piss. This is gonna be good. Now time for a little bit of red. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is gonna be fucking sick. I want a splattering and then we go back in with a little more splat. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna take a little bit of this and come through here as well. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Dude, you should have seen Columbus's face when he saw the tie-dye for the first time. He almost had a fucking... <laughs> he was 
hard as a rock. All new step two. We have to wrap these in plastic wrap. The plastic wrap goes in the microwave? How long does it go in the microwave for? Two minutes? It's gonna melt the shit out of this. How would this not melt in the microwave? I don't think this is a good idea to put plastic wrap in the microwave. It says microwave safe. Okay. Weird. I would not think that this can go in the microwave. I'm going to put these in the microwave and maybe damage my whole life. We'll find out. Okay. Socks are in. Shirt is in. Closing the microwave. Two minutes. This does not seem okay. How could they make it microwave safe? There's no way it's safe. Oh, so you just killed that fly and left it on the ground for me to pick up later? For Spencer to eat and get a disease? What if he got malaria or diarrhea? Somehow it didn't melt in the microwave, which is very surprising. Look at all the steam. I don't know if you can see it in camera. Whoa, ow, it's really hot. Do a little bit of a rinse. Oh yeah. Perfect, it's so hot out here. Now we have a piece de resistance. We have a whole Canadian tuxedo, white jeans, and I have a white denim jacket. This is going to be sick, but how do I want to do it? What if instead of crumpling, we do a little fold? I think this could be interesting. Also could not be, but it might be. Oh, look at this, man. Put this on top of a cowboy's casket, I think. I'm doing stripes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We're doing an outline of green. Oh, yeah. This will be good. Now we're going to do the opposite, where we're going to do stripes along here. And then we're going to do red on top and along the seam. It's going to look like a bloody asshole. <laughs> we do have to get a little bit of the innards. So what are we going to do? <gasps> do we though? I'm just gonna spritz and pray. We're spritzing and we're praying. It's gonna be good. You have to believe in the craft and believe in God because through all things and him it's possible or something. Ah, oh, fuck. This is a travesty. Just wait a second. It's fine. Good. All ready to go. Is there any way that I could fold this? No, oh, I don't want to do this twirl. I'm gonna do something new, something brash. What if I wrap along? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No one's gonna know what this even is going to look like. One singular line. One singular line one singular line and one singular line i'm going to do a move right now that jocelyn's not going to approve of but that's fine because not everyone needs to approve of what you make with art you just have to go at your own pace you need to do what's right for you and sometimes what's right for you is also right for the world, it's right for science, for your family. I'm a visionary. I'm a prince of creativity. This is going to revolutionize the tie-dye industry. This won't even be classified as tie-dye. This will be something completely new. The baby is swaddled and it is ready to be baked. We have all of our children that we will now bake in the oven at 355 degrees for 45 to 50 hours. And once they're done marinating, we'll give them a little bit of a bath, a soak, a squeeze. Ready for a little bit of magic? That's gonna take me days to do. But for you, it'll be a matter of seconds. Hey, how's it going? Listen, a tree fell down in my yard and so people are here taking care of it. So now we're doing this part of the video in here on the runway. You can't step in front of the light, Jocelyn. Your shadow's gonna be on that thing. So why don't I give you a little tour of the magic? Huh? Now this. Now this is something. Look at this. Decked out from head to toe. Infinite possibilities. Infinite ass. Now I forgot one item. Nay, two item being the socks that came out 
really bad. <laughs> These look <laughs> terrible. They look so bad. But the other being the final secret object. Look at you, Spence. Look at you. Look at you and look at me. Matching tie-dye boys. Sit down. Matching tie-dye boys. Wow. This was a magical experience. I'm so glad that me and my son have have matching clothes together. I think the shirt is the best one of the bunch for sure. The jacket is pretty ugly. <laughs> it's pretty, I wouldn't wear it. The pants also, I wouldn't wear them. Wouldn't wear them at all. Sorry. The shirt is pretty good. The shirt I would wear. The socks are the worst of the bunch for sure. I actually won't be wearing any of these at all, but some of you at home may be wearing some of these, okay? So how would you like to get one of these items? You're asking yourself. Well, I have a documentary about my tour that's coming out very, very soon. It's on sale. <laughs> you can get tickets for it now. It's going to be premiering on moment on. Ah, 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 ah. It's going to be very fun. So all you, all you have to do is, uh, you just have to tweet me using hashtag. Ah. Using hashtag ah, 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 ah. and saying which item of clothing you want, either the shirt, the pants, the jacket, or the <laughs> socks. And then uh, Jocelyn's going to tie dye two pairs of sweatpants. What size is this shirt? Medium. This is a medium jacket. These are pants that are 32 inch waist, I think, or a 30 or something. I don't know. And then the socks are socks. And then the sweatpants sizes are too small. So all you have to do is use that hashtag, tweet me a photo showing that you got tickets for the doc. Yeah. So anyway, hope you like this. You know, they all say, hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. And that's uh, what's happening now. Just keep it on me as I walk away and this will be the end card. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you all have a great day. Can't wait for you to see the doc. It's gonna be very exciting. I don't know if the trailer's already out. Probably is. The trailer must be out by now. Um, but gee whiz, can't wait for you to see it. It's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be really fun. Um, and there's most likely going to be a physical premiere here in Los Angeles. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Anyway.